Good morning, everyone. Hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Today, we're doing a quick update video on Focus Shooting LLC and one of the services that I've added. I actually added this service quite some time ago, but I forgot to mention it back then. I didn't do a video. I moved since then all the way from Washington State to South Dakota, so we're out in my shop here in South Dakota, but I thought I would go ahead and do a dedicated video on it since it's something I get a lot of questions on and I meant to do it like four months ago at this point. Now, for those of you who don't know, there is a little bit of discussion going on right now about pistol braces and whether or not they should be legal, which of course they should be legal, but I am not a lawyer. I can't do anything in that regard. But what I can do is offer the cheapest pin and weld service possible for anyone who's worried about that sort of thing. So basically any barrel length and appropriate muzzle device, if you get it to me, I will pin and weld it for free, but shipping is 20 bucks. So it is a $20 fee. The $20 fee pays for the box, pays for the label, and gets it back to you. However you want to get it to me, all you have to do is send your barrel, completed upper receiver, and muzzle device to my PO box. It is PO box 267, Marion, South Dakota, 57043. And that's it. I will pin and weld it for you. You can go through my website. There is a direct link for the, again, quote unquote, free pin and weld. That is, again, $20 just for shipping it back to you. Now, if you have a upper receiver on hand but don't have a muzzle device, I always keep extended A2s, four prong flash hiders, and Sons of Liberty Gunworks knocks on hand as well for pin and weld. Or if you want some sort of other muzzle device, you can go through me for that as well. I get dealer cost on just about anything, and I'm not going to charge you any markup on the muzzle device. Again, this is just to do something for you guys as cheaply as possible. Again, at most, I'm making one to two dollars on every package that I sent out, which doesn't really pay for my time. Now, as far as the service goes, it comes with a full lifetime warranty, just like anything that I do at Focus Shooting LLC. So if there's any sort of issue with the weld, muscle device coming loose over time, anything like that, which as of yet, I have not seen on any of my upper receivers, but anything like that is again covered by a full lifetime warranty. Now, free pin and weld, I am by no means a welder by trade. Uh, it's something that I picked up and done several hundred times now, so I am better at it now than I used to be. In the beginning, I would say I was quite terrible, but as of now, I am passable. So, the cheapest pin and weld on the market is not the best pin and weld on the market. If you're somebody who is completely caught up in looks and aesthetics and wants it to look as tiny, pretty as possible, you should go to a professional welder, not somebody offering to do it for $20 online like me. Now with that out of the way, doing a quick update on inventory, I have some 14 and a half inch 308 upper receivers in stock, courtesy of Ballistic Advantage. 14 and a half inch Ballistic Advantage barrel Atlas R1 rail is the 12-point seven inch nickel boron BCG. And it also comes with the RCA adjustable gas key on there. So it is completely tunable and can be a very soft shooting up receiver. Come stock with a extended A2 flash hider for pin and weld or again, any other sort of muzzle device that you want. Now on top of that, new for us, we also have 11.5 7.62 2 by 39. This is using a CAC 11.5 barrel, CAC 9.8 inch rail. The bolt in BCG, it's a titanium nitride BCG, fantastic. The bolt is the Young Manufacturing Enhanced Slash Hybrid 7.62 by 39 bolt that I have a video on on my channel. It is a very, very high quality bolt that is machined differently than all the other 7.62 by 39 bolts on the market. So it's going to be the most reliable in an AR-15 platform. On top of that, these are also tunable as well via the RCA adjustable gas key. Now on top of that, I get a lot of questions about 7.62 by 39 magazines and which ones are the most reliable in an AR for 7.62 62 by 39. So each upper receiver that I sell comes with the two magazines that I test with each 7.62 by 39 upper receiver. So you will get a verified working combo from me again if you buy 11 or if you buy the 7.62 by 39. And last up for new upper receivers that we have on hand, at least I think so. This is actually a 16 inch six millimeter arc upper receiver. Now this is based off of the Ballistic Advantage Premium Black, which is a, this is the 16 inch SPR profile barrel that is black nitride 416R stainless steel. So again, it is a very high quality, heavy profile barrel, giving you good accuracy out of a more precision round. The rail that I went with on this build, this is the CMT DRT, which is way too many letters in a row, but it is their 15 inch seven sided M lock version. 
charging handle is the Breek Warhammer Ambidextrous, and the uh, bolt carrier group is a Titanium Nitride from Premier Armory. And of course, on top of the new upper receivers, we also have most of the old ones back in stock as well. So if you're interested in anything, go ahead and check out the website. That is, of course, Focus Shooting LLC. And with all that out of the way, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick update video. Let me know what you think of the new upper receivers and the free pin and weld comments, questions, anything like that. Go ahead and put those down below. And with all that out of the way, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. I will see you in the next one. Peace out.